Hi everybody, today we are going to review the Big Apple Coaster recreation by Mama Rias. Uh, this was an entry for Drinklink's um, ride recreation contest on his Discord channel. And this was the winner of that contest. And um, we're about to take a look at this park and I will hopefully show you why this was the winner. This is an incredible piece of no custom scenery uh, RCT and a great recreation of a terrible coaster. So, for those of you who aren't familiar with the source material for this, um, Big Apple Coaster is located at the New York, New York Hotel and Casino in Las Vegas. Uh, it is a Togo sit-down coaster uh, that wraps around the New York, New York Casino and up on top of the roof. Um, and the casino itself has all sorts of, kind of skyscraper-esque towers all tied together and then a lot of different facades around the front. So. Let's jump in and take a look. Um, being uh, that I'm into the coasters, we're going to start there. So um, have our station and everything here. Uh, I'm going to wait for the next one to come around. While we wait, let's take a look at one of the kind of stars of this whole thing is all this custom support work. Um, I'm not a no custom scenery builder. I totally respect people who can do it because to me it is exceedingly difficult to get anything to look nice, much less support work that looks as fantastic as this. I mean, just throughout this entire thing, you've got you know, your couple of double columns here, uh, the horizontal pieces that wrap around, and just this whole diagonal lift hill, essentially just spaghetti of columns, just is absolutely incredible. So let's take a look here at the ride. Um, the uh, trains, original Togo trains, were replaced with Premier Rides trains uh, a little while ago. Uh, unfortunately, it doesn't make the experience much better. It is not the most comfortable of rides, but uh, it's a big coaster, uh, over 200 feet worth of elevation change. Um, so we got our nice drop over top of the pool, then over here, right in, over in front of the Porta Cachere. And now we're up on top of the roof for this sort of compact section. Um, the layout is, is pretty spot on. We kind of got the whole whole thing covered here. It's got the loop and the kind of dive loop stall element here that are actually not too bad on the ride. It's not the, the worst bit of it. And then all sorts of little airtime hills. Uh, even has the, the whole space frame underneath of this that the ride sits on um, just to... Uh, work through all the supporting over the uh, over the building structure itself and then diving back inside for the the finale um, let's see here so it, it would have been cool if uh, you could have gotten the block sections in there as well just from a realistic standpoint since you kind of nailed everything else it would have been cool to see that but you know on the whole this is just a, a great recreation and Honestly, the real star of the show here is is the architecture itself. So you got this uh, cool collection of skyscrapers here. Really loving the use of the BNM vertical coaster track here for uh, the sides of this building, and then just some of the other details here, like uh, the curve here, which is just stack after stack after stack of track pieces, and uh, this to kind of add some texture on there. Same with with this for the um, either Chrysler or Empire State buildings going on in that design. And really there's there's just so many details as you look around. Um, this kind of neat sign here with chess pieces uh, and the, the little wall textures there, the tennis racket pieces here that are, are cut and used uh, for the uh, condenser for the air conditioning unit. Um, and then just all the, the little kind of Special special details here. You have the statues used for a piece of a sign, the uh, little candy canes here for uh, roadway lights, uh, really nice fountain here stacked with the Egyptian scenery, um, and then again another sign with the chess pieces and some poster track. Um, kind of the, the, the big thing on this map for me is the Statue of Liberty, and it just it kind of boggles my mind that somebody can sit there and think, man, if I merge a whole bunch of these twisted pieces of track together, I'll end up with the Statue of Liberty. Like, I don't know how you even concepted this, but it's, it's darn impressive to me. Uh, I, I could never come close to that, but I'm super impressed with it. Same thing with this building, really liking the stacked uh, Virginia Reel, 
with the monorail as well. You can get some nice curves there. And then the, the pumpkin kind of thrown in there. That texture actually works pretty darn well for, for what it is. Uh, and then a, uh, the 3D cinema pieces here uh, as well. And then just kind of working down. We've got the bridge on this side and the American flag here, the Irish flag here with the pub. Uh, using the reverser track here for this sort of cinema looking front facade. Um, and then just really all the all the kind of fun little details and stuff here. Uh, good parking deck on this side. And uh, and then even some of these uh, AC units and the ductwork on, on top of the roof here is, is pretty well done. And you, know, you can't forget the Big Apple sign here on top too with the apple shape and the little piece of monorail here for the, the stem. It's really, really nice, nicely done. Uh, there is some stuff inside actually. Uh, so we'll pull out the cutaway view here and bring it on down. Not themed so much, but you know, I can't fault that. It's just kind of nice to have some extra stuff here in the middle. Uh, I'm not quite sure what all of it's meant to be. Uh, we have an escape room, we have a magic show, uh, then we have the super spinner, and then the casino cruiser. Not a coaster that exists in the real place, sadly, but uh, I would not complain if it were. Uh, it would be neat to get in there and see what kind of interiors you might be able to throw in there if you ever revisited this. Uh, but, you know, for uh, a piece of no custom scenery work and a recreation, and a really darn good one at that. It's um, it's a really impressive piece of work. Um, and I can totally see why you uh, took home the victory in the contest. So well done on this and looking forward to more work from you, whether that's recreations or uh, just more kind of neat sculptural work. I think that's clearly your strong suit. Uh, so always down to see more of that, but you know, congratulations on a well-deserved win and uh, looking forward to seeing more from you soon. That's all for me for now. Um, join in for the next one whenever that shows up. Thank you all very much.